Now, it's time for Getting Legal with Tim Misney. When it matters, make it Misney. You'll make a pay. Welcome to another segment of Getting Legal with Tim Misney. My guest, Tim Misney. Tim, thank you for joining us again. Great to be here, as always. And right now, we're at Cleveland State. We're at the Marshall School of Law. Yes. And we're sitting in the trial courtroom. Yes. Let's take you back a couple of years, back okay. to law school, mm -hmm. before you even got into law school. Mm -hmm. What classes or what did you have to major in to become a lawyer? Right. Uh, in my undergraduate work at John Carroll, I was a pre-law major, political okay. science. And the beauty of law school is that there is no one set discipline for law school. People come in with economic degrees, pre-med, what have you. So it's very accommodating and, and, and it's very wide open. I happen to be a pre-law major. And did you have to take anything to get into law school? Like how is the application process? What, yes. What's that about? Yes, there, there is a, uh, um, a, uh, a standardized test, a law school admission test, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, then your grade point average, and uh, cross your fingers, uh, go light a, cu a couple candles at St. John Cathedral, and uh, then uh, I got lucky and got in. What made you choose Cleveland State for a law school? Well, um, the evening program at Cleveland State made all the difference in the world for me. I needed to work full-time during the day. Pat Rocco, the law director in the city of Euclid, gave me a clerkship in the prosecutor's office, which was a, an amazing opportunity. And I worked full-time during the day, and I needed to go to school at night. And Marshall uh, is the only school that has a program like that to accommodate full-time working people and that really enabled me to go to law school. Thank you so much for joining us today. My pleasure. This has been Getting Legal with Tim Misney, sponsored by the law offices of Timothy P. Misney.